Hello, Shalom Kaysen here and with the Rosary Challenge and today is day 50. First thing up, did I do it? Yes, I did. Just barely made it. Just barely. Almost passed out from exhaustion trying to do that because I've been very busy working on three to four hours of sleep a night, waking up early in the morning, all that good stuff. So I was extremely exhausted, fell asleep about a hundred times in between trying to finish my rosary, fell asleep for a couple of hours, woke up and finally got it finished. So how do I, how did I feel after all that? I felt extremely exhausted, extremely tired, but I felt uh, I didn't feel too great before I finished and was trying very hard to finish. But when after I was done, I felt this big weight lifted off my shoulders and I truly felt like, okay, I am doing as much as I can to show God that I truly love him and I want to know him more and I want to uh, be closer to his son, Jesus Christ, and uh, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Jesus Christ's mother. So I'm going to read a quote from St. Louis de Montfort today, a short reflection for you to think about the rosary and why you should start doing it. The life is, excuse me, this life is nothing but warfare and a series of temptations. We do not have to contend with enemies of flesh and blood, but with the very powers of hell. What better weapons could we possibly use to combat them than the prayer which our great captain taught us, and the angelic salutation which has chased away devils, destroyed sin, and renewed the world. What better weapon could we use than meditation on the life and passion of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? For, as St. Peter says, it is with this thought we must arm ourselves in order to, to defend ourselves against the very same enemies which he conquered and which molest us every day. Thus ends a reflection from, from uh, St. Louis de Montfort. And this is from the book, The Secret of the Rosary, which is a great book. You should check it out. There's a free PDF online. You also you can purchase it. It's about $6, I think, US dollars. So that was our reflection today. I hope that that gives you another reason to pick up the rosary and to start doing it because we are in a war. We're in a war against the powers of hell and the strongest weapons are the two prayers that Jesus, um, the two prayers that we get from the Bible, one that Jesus taught us, the Our Father, and the other one, which is the angelic salutation, which ushered in salvation. And lastly, it should help us to become more powerful to combat the devil when we meditate on our blessed Lord's uh, birth, life, passion, death, and resurrection, because that is what defeated the devil. And if we meditate on that, then we can understand how we're supposed to mount our defense against his, as this <laughs> reflection said, molestation, because that is exactly what it is. And um, so in that vein, I hope that you pick up some rosary beads and start doing the rosary at least um, five decades once a day. And that's it. Until next time, pray the rosary, pray for me, and stay holy, my friends.